Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with JPEG download files from the internet being saved as JFIF files. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we could go through the registry editor or we can make this a little bit easier. So I will have a link in the description of the video to a pastebin file. So I want you guys just to go ahead and copy that from the description of the video. There will be a link down there. And just go ahead and paste that in. Into the address bar. And then now that we are here, so what you want to do is copy the text here. And then you want to just close out of the web browser. Open up the start menu. Type in notepad. Go ahead and open up Notepad here. And then you want to paste this text in that I have. Like I said, it's going to be on that link. Just go ahead and copy that, paste it over. Select File and then Save As. Save it to your desktop. And you can name this file whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Stop JPG. And then you want to add .reg on the end. Save As Type. Click inside the drop down. Select All Files. And then select Save. So you see our registry file is now on our desktop. But instead of clicking on that right away, let's create a backup of our registry. So if anything were to go wrong, we could easily restore it back. So in order to do that, just open up the start menu and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result says registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And in order to create the backup, just select file and then export. File name, save it as a date in which you're making the backup. Export range, keep that at all and save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, just select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward. Now that we have a registry file on our desktop, go ahead and double click on it. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt and then select yes again. So then once you run that file, restart your computer and then you can delete this registry file on your desktop if you want. And that's about it guys. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.